Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. So today I'm going to show you how to use the new video software called Video Enigma to create your first 3D video in a 3D player. All right, so I'm logged into my back office of Video Enigma. Right now I don't have any videos loaded. So I'll come over here and click on Create New. Select 3D video and then we'll name our video. In my case, I'm just going to call it Video Pizzazz. Then you can scroll down and you can select any of these 3D players. You can click here to go to two. There's some more players here that you can, you can pick. For right now, I'm just going to pick this uh, device TV and it highlights. And you click on the next arrow. Now what you want to do is upload a video that you want to put into that player. So I'll click here to upload. And I'm going to upload from my laptop. So I'll click on upload media. And you'll notice here that the max file size for the video is 150 megabytes. I will click on add files. And I'll find the MP4 that I want to upload and I'll make sure that it's smaller than 150 megabytes and it is 95.3 so I'll double click on that and then I can come over here click on start upload and the speed at which this uploads depends on your internet speed and how your system's configured and all that kind of stuff so maybe really fast or it could be pretty slow Okay, so now it has uploaded it and it's processing the video, which means it's just reformatting it. Now you can see that our video has been uploaded and converted and it says it's 100% complete and resolved. So now what we need to do is pick a video that we want to put into our player. And of course we want to put this video in that we just uploaded, but we still have to come over here and click on select media. And you'll see two videos here. This one I uploaded earlier. And here's the video that I just uploaded. So I will select this video. You can click here and preview our video. Make sure we got the right one. Then I can click on next. And then here we have the option to change the way our player looks. So there's a bunch of different options. One, there's another one, this one, and this one. Uh, I kind of like that one. So I'm going to go with this one. And then I will just click on save 3D video. The video created successfully and it shows up right here so what you see here is this is the player this is what the player will look like and this is what the video will be inside of this player and if you wanted to duplicate this setup for any reason you could just click on this guy right here click on duplicate and you can select that guy select that guy click that that guy and it's duplicated down here but I'm going to delete that for now because I don't want to do the same. So now if we just click here, so now if you want to change the dimension of your video you can click here and you get all these different different options. The default is 640 by 360 for uh, website embedding. And right now the show embed codes are turned off, but if you click here, this will show you all the embed code for the regular standard embed code, responsive embedding, and 2D embed code. And if I click here, I'll turn that back off. I'll discuss this more in another video. But here's where you would turn on your on and off, your autoplay, your social media buttons, your HD mode, your special effects. 
uh, show HD, you turn on the special effects button, then if you scroll down, then you have control to use all these special effects down here. But in this video, I just basically wanted to show you how to get a video uploaded and put into a 3D player and how to find the embed code. So that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.